It is Estrella with a reading for the collective. Um, just take what resonates and throw out the rest. What do we need to know? Today? The collective today, what do we need to know? Okay, there's some waiting and planning, getting ideas together, getting the confidence together to do something. A pause having to do with two of cups, a relationship, a high a spiritual bond. Um, this person is feeling like either their ego is getting in the way or they need the spiritual strength to, to do something. I feel like it's the king of wands um, in the recent past that had a new level of understanding about themselves. Um, I feel like we've got a couple things coming out here. Um, they're waiting for their ships to come in. This is a new beginning, self-love that they're focused on. This does really want to come out, this death card. It's like a, the end of something and the beginning of something. Communication around it and actually feeling like they've got to do it quickly. Potentially also um, patience and planning around it or trying to figure out their options. Um, because of something that they've bottomed out around where they thought that they were going to get, um, have a really great life, but, you know, just had, have had a recent tower around that. Um, in the near future, there's going to be some feeling of being trapped or not knowing how to move forward. We'll get clarification. They have... Well, wow, we've got Nine of Cups and Devil popping out here. So a dream, come, really, really obsessed with this, like, dream come true right now. I wonder if this is the Divine Masculine. Maybe this is not. Okay, this is someone who is in a Nine of Swords uh, energy. They appear to be living a nightmare right now. And then, okay, they are concerned about some sort of, like, tradition or marriage, um, some sort of agreement with this king of wands. Um, they want to win at all costs here. And there's something about like the approach, the way this, um, the way they come across or the way they're approaching the situation, potentially making an apology. Um, and so they put a lot of work into something and now they're having to kind of let it go. It's weighing them down and they're picking up on something that's making them feel this way. Um, hmm. Of course, I really thought this was the divine masculine, but I feel like this is maybe something else, someone else. Outcome, please, team of light. We've got the ending of a cycle. Okay, and now someone is really in a lot of regret and feeling grief and loss around a Ten of Pentacles situation and someone who's very independent, which I think is you. Okay, so I'm um, going to get just the psychology cards, the uh, ar archetype cards, I mean, just because I want to make sure that I know who this is exactly, that I am tuning into, or what this is about. Because if it's the Divine Masculine, it looks like they're planning on making a move because they want to go back to their Divine counterpart, their, their spiritual uh, partner. Let's see, who is this, please, Team Flight? Okay, we've got an alchemist, someone who's an alchemist. I saw a thief, someone who, okay, no, this is feminine energy. So someone who, um, exploitation of the female nature and form, someone who acts like a victim, 
um, someone who's an alchemist. I'm pretty sure this is the um, karmic energy. Yeah, I saw thief and now it slid open again and there it is again. So, um, and someone who acts like a dilettante maybe thinks, and then we've got saboteur and queen here. Okay. Um, also orphan, feelings of abandonment that stifle, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So basically, um, and then we've got mystic here, someone who um, is coupling with someone who isn't their spiritual mate or their their destiny so that makes sense so this is a karmic energy that um is um planning on something their problem is this twin flame or divine counterpart connection they're worried about something to do with strength somebody's strength here let's get clarifications strength that comes from the heart because um, in this particular strength card, she's got the heart amulet there that I just noticed. And the infinite, the infinite, which makes on her arm, which makes me feel like that is, it's like the infinite space of all being this, like when the divine feminine is in touch with the present tense and just really picking up on um, the nature of being the the centeredness around pr being present yeah it it's just like okay well that's not what this is um that well no because it's the will to create and then but we've got unreliable fickle moody sensual untruthful so this person is feeling like they can't admit it to themselves, but they don't have the spiritual strength to create this Two of Cups. The, they can't hold on to this masculine energy because they're, they're manipulating, they're, they're wearing a mask. And the spiritual strength has to come from a connection with the divine using love. That's where spiritual strength comes from the highest form, the highest energy in the universe. So in order to tap, to tap in to what the divine feminine taps into and the whole reason for this connection be, goes beyond the divine feminine and the divine masculine. It's something that is, you know, destined. Um, but so this karmic energy is feeling like they can't trick the system. Okay, emperor and then empress clarifies um, in the recent past. So it's like, yeah, the divine masculine energies heading towards the empress and having like a new layer of awakening around who they are and this karmic energy being like the old, this this knight of cups, the, the mask is off and whatever manipulations don't seem to be working here in the recent past. So that's why they're planning now. What um, Can I get a clarification for the two of wands, please? Yeah, planning, planning something. They feel like they've made a setback in their planning. And what they're planning has to do with this Two of Cups. The problem is this Two of Cups, um, yeah, they're, whoa, they're brokenhearted around it. Um, and they feel just stuck because they can't, they can't be the Divine Feminine because they're not connecting to source. But it's hard for them to admit that. Okay, and so, well, that came out fast. King of Wands, they want to do something in regards to, it's almost like pulling the divine masculine back. It's interesting because it used to be Knight of Wands that this karmic energy would pull the divine masculine into um, King of Pentacles, the Divine Masculine already had, and King of Cups. So it was like a King of Cups, King of Wands energy, not the Emperor. So this Divine Masculine is turned into the Emperor, but this Karmic wants to move really quickly, either by communication or something, by causing an ending to this new beginning that 
is already starting to roll in um, and potentially by kind of pulling the divine masculine energy back at least to a king of wands. Um, but this person with this eight of swords here is going to get stuck. Something to, to do with their networks or something they're building. Maybe um, this was something that some, something traps them with this group of people, this network um, that becomes a real nightmare for them. And that makes it hard for them to do this. So maybe this was something that they were working on with the Divine Masculine or another group that has had enough of the manipulations or something like that that comes in and stops this, um, all of this planning because it's gone too far. So Nine of Cups and the Devil, um, that is, they're obsessed with this dream come true. Explain the Nine of Cups. Wow. Queen of Cups, you are the dream come true. They're obsessed with you. Um, there's a lot of people fighting. This is the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of people fighting and some are really, um, have like retreated from the fight. I, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of people. Um, some are, are fighting and the competition has, the infighting has almost like, also the competition with the Divine Feminine. They feel like they've lost or um, they're feeling really depressed that they haven't been able to um, sort of replace or have, have this dream come true's life. It feel it feel or this this dream come true or this divine feminine this queen of cups um, is just like this dream come true um, wishes fulfilled the the wishes being fulfilled for this divine feminine is a real nightmare because for this karmic energy because they wanted to have what the divine feminine had they felt that the divine feminine should go away. Um, and just go live in the dark somewhere because it was their turn now and they decided that they wanted to have this nine of cups now because they felt blocked like they couldn't get these things or whatever it is that the divine feminine had so they were going to do whatever they had to do to get it um, but they weren't counting on the divine feminine um, you know working independently and staying connected through all the chakras and they weren't thinking through what would happen if this divine feminine um, you know, either came out of the dark or did something, um, was doing something to help themselves in this, this supposed dark place that they were in. Um, I know that cause I did a pre-read before this reading, um, which also was saying that I didn't post, but that the divine feminine should be really using this time to, um, even if it feels like there's a, an ener energy shift um, where the divine feminine is sort of moving, things are more moving forward to be, to, to use moderation and um, in every form and to try to default to compassion and love and to continue doing prayer, prayers, you know, salt baths, spending time in nature and, and um, focusing on compassion and forgiveness even for the people who have, might have done the most because only just for yourself because it will you're heading towards your destiny and it will pull you down um, and could really you know it wouldn't be good for you to focus too much on on what they've done and be too stern towards these people at least internally forgiveness is for you um, all right so Yeah, it's, this was part of the other reading, the Six of Swords kept coming out, was about like moving on, moving away from stormy waters towards calmer waters. That should be your focus. So even though it's tough, um, after everything that's happened, the main focus is through compassion, love and forgiveness and moderation, moving towards calmer waters in whatever way you can. Being, being being what you want to live, being what you want to live now. Um, so that's for us, I think. But um, so this fear around 
Wow. So that, and that is exactly what this karmic energy is afraid of is you, you know, they've done a lot of work here. They put a lot of work into this, you know, um, commitment with this divine masculine, but it's like this masculine really wants to work with you on having a life and starting over again. And the masculine wants to move from this stormy waters to calm, wants to take a leap of faith. It wants to apologize. Um, wants to give you an offer of love. That's what this karmic energy is is worried about. And I also want to say that, you know, if there's some karmic energies that are more of like a bully or an ex-friend or something like that in your life, this two of, this two of cups could be an offer um, to have a... Um, they're not part of it now. This could be like um, some kind of a business deal or work situation or even just a new friend or something that was supposed to, a new soulmate something like that where this person um became you know tried to hold you back it's the same message the karmic messages are all sort of the same here where they're feeling um defeated by kind of you you know upgrading spiritually upgrading i think that's the word i'm looking for and any plans they had to try to block you have just been thwarted um so they're also feeling this same way and they also want to do something to try to they're trying to come up with ideas of what they can do um to if you've got someone who's sort of on your side in a business this could be male or female they still are thinking about how to move in quickly to create a death um but it's just it's going to stop here in the near future it's like um They've definitely had a setback, and um, but are still planning. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with any of your dreams coming true, and they're obsessed with the fact that people think of you as a dream come true. Um, and also, yeah, wishes fulfilled. You having your wishes fulfilled, they're obsessed with it. And they actually can't think past it right now. Outcome? Okay. The end of a cycle of lies. Um, it's done. They're still in a place where they're, they don't want to hear the calling. They don't want to hear the, you know, this is judgment time. Every they, They're not seeing, or they are probably seeing it, but they don't want to um, enact the, the next phase of uh, awareness here, which is, you know, things are backfiring based on other, um, you know, you can't take someone else's life. Uh, you can't do those things. Um, and you need to listen to the calling, your calling, because, you know, there are other ways to find happiness besides someone else's, you know, what you want to take from someone else. And it's interesting because this is left over from another um, reading that this mask, it's like trying to keep keep something going. Um, they're still trying to keep something going here and it's not going to be good. It's not going to, um, work for them. A lot of people are not getting along. They want to win. They, you're, they're watching you, uh, things do better for for you and um they want to win so that's their goal the problem is that they feel like they need this twin or this partnership um this romantic love affair to, to do it which is like your twin or your um your business partnership this you know soulmate connection or whatever it is they feel like they need the one that you have in order to win um and so dirty offer love on the brain right they it's they they know that they're not telling the truth that they're doing something that is they're not being authentic or that there's something that's corrupt about these actions, but it's so deep down if they're stuffing it deep down here that this rom romance or whatever it is that they're trying to do 
is is it's a dirty offer it's it's a gesture that has corruption tied to it with this emperor and the empress i do feel like it's been like there's def definitely been a shift here um family issues why well, that felt weird though Get one more looking you up yeah i think it's more this one it's like the emperor you know, masculine energy moving more towards the divine feminine. So this karmic energy. Um, okay, no, actually, these this did belong there. So looking you up, there might have been something like an argument or something very clear about the divine masculine saying that they want to move towards the divine feminine. There could have been something that came up around what the karmic was doing in regards to telling lies or stalking the divine feminine or any of number of things that they have done um this karmic energy could have been watching you online and then it caused problems with the masculine energy um or it could be um them alone watching you online and watching this masculine alone online trying to figure out what's going on maybe trying to create problems or sending emails still um or sending messages or putting posts up um, that are causing problems. Um, that could be also a family member. Um, this karmic could be involved with family. Um, so yeah, this person is feeling like, um, ghosted wants you back. Ghosted want you. So this is either them saying that they're, they are going to try to get the masculine energy to come back after being ghosted or they want the divine masculine to ghost you um they want to create an ending that's for sure either way they don't want the masculine moving towards you in the near future tripping on you just really really stuck on you and whatever it is that you're doing here this nine of cups and the devil hmm feeling rejected they're feeling rejected maybe they've lost a lot of money here or something maybe after what they've done things have just sort of backfired yeah things have played out we got impersonator is played out so that's what's making them them obsessed is like your things returning back to you know you getting back on your wheel again it's like getting back on your bike it's like the bully came, chased after you after school, and threw rocks at your head, knocked you off of your bike, uh, and then jumped on the bike and then started racing away with it and spent a whole day having fun on your bike. Um, and everyone was giving them compliments at how beautiful their bike was. And they started to believe that was their bike on, you know, that afternoon after school. And then, you know, something happened and now the bike is back in your hands and all of your little cuts and bruises are are healed you might see a little bit of them but you're pretty much healed and you're back on your bike with you know your ribbons in your hair or whatever it is you're all uh soaked up now <laughs> um and you know this person is obsessed with you on your bike they want your bike and that's all they can think about is the image of you riding through the neighborhood, ringing your bell, happy and saying hello to everyone and people loving you and you getting all the things that you, you know, um, were trying to get on your ride home. That's it. That's how they're looking at you. Like the shiny, the shiny um, object, something like that. And we've got four of swords and yeah this we've got karmic friends people that's five, five of wands people fighting karmic karmic friends fighting some people are running that's that four of swords like taking breaks people are not it's a it's a nightmare for a lot of people and then some people it's like you're not no one knows what you're doing but other people are moving like everyone's scattering the friend groups are changing um yeah, it's a real, it is, it's a real nightmare. 
it's a whole social dynamic that is shifting and changing um this karmic energy is thinking that they if you get what they this it feels like a girl fight okay they want to they're the they want to continue a girl fight or what is this no it's just sort of watching you it's again you on your bike if you get the masculine back or if you get the contract or if you get the the thing you're just on your bike riding to wherever you were supposed to go uh and you actually make it to your destination it's like they want to do something they're watching you they want to do something they don't know what though and then the outcome, the Seven of Swords and um, Universe. Yeah, the lies, the lies are going to come out. And I think, you know, maybe it's something that they do. It's already come out more. Yeah, it's very clear here. It's, it's the Queen Rising. They're fed up. Hope that helps. Bye.